Now suppose you want to add two numbers. So to add two numbers, we first need to declare two numbers. That is something like this. So here we have declared two numbers like say integer x equal to 10 and integer y equal to 20. This x and y are called variables. Variables can hold some data. Now this integer is called the data type. That is, this integer x can hold any whole number. So your next question may be like, what if I want to hold a decimal number? What if I want to hold like a, a character or a string or something like that, like a text? We will see all different types of data types later on. But for now, remember integer data types can hold any whole number. And then we can say something like integer c equal to x plus y. Let's say integer result equal to x plus y. And then we can print result. Now to print result, once again it is system.out.print line. Now there is a shortcut to write system.out.print line. You can say type sy yes o and keep the control key pressed and press the space bar like this. And then you can say result. Now you can save this program and run it. Right click, run as Java application and you will see that the hello world is printed and the result of 30 is printed. You can also say result equal to within double quotes and then plus result. So what this will do is it will print out, save it and run it. So here you can see that it has printed out result equal to and then it has concatenated. This plus sign does not add. You cannot add some text and some number. So it has, it's called a concatenator. It concatenates this text and this particular number and then you see the printout result equal to 30. You saw how to add two numbers and these are the signs for subtraction, multiplication and division and this is the modulus sign. The modulus sign is used to find the remainder. For example, if you have like integer x equal to 10 and integer y equal to 3, int result equal to x mod y, what happens is 10 mod 3, the remainder is 1. That is, 3 goes in 10 3 times. 3 3s are 9, the remainder is 1, so the result will be 1. You can right click, run as Java application, and you can see that the result is equal to 1.